OK, we've already had the best goals from players with a number 10 jersey, but we just couldn't resist another. There are so many great goals from number 10s in Bundesliga history that we thought, why not make another top 10? And here it is. Julian Brandt is not only Bayer Leverkusen's number 10, the Werkself youngster has also been given the coveted Playmakers shirt number for Germany. This goal from the 2017-18 season perfectly demonstrates his great ability. Oh, good fast footwork. This is gorgeous stuff from Leverkusen. Perfectly executed. Julian Brandt pops up, lifts the ball over Köln Castiles and makes it two. And that is exactly what Leverkusen needed to do in this game. Krasimir Balakov was one third of Stuttgart's famous front three during the 1996-97 campaign, the Magic Triangle. With Freddy Bobic and Giovanni Elber, the Bulgarian fired them to DFB Cup glory. Elber's move to Munich a year later broke up the trio, but that didn't stop Balakov from doing things like this. From intricate moves to direct free kicks, Balakov netted 54 goals across eight memorable years with Stuttgart. Ivan Rakitic scored seven goals in the 2009-10 season, his most prolific Bundesliga campaign as Schalke finished runners-up. His best effort came in the Revier derby. What a finish! Dortmund goalkeeper Roman Weidenfeller, helpless. Thomas Rosicki spent six years in the Bundesliga, making 149 appearances for Dortmund. The technically gifted Czech was not exactly a goal-scoring machine, but when he did score, they were normally pretty special, like this one against Wolfsburg. This outside-of-the-boot stunner, Dortmund's first in a 4-0 triumph against the Wolves. Now, Rosicki's goal came in the same season Werder Bremen won the title. Johan Miku played his part with 10 goals, but was arguably the Frenchman's greatest Bremen goal came two years later. In the Nord Derby against Hamburg, this free kick helped them to what turned out to be a point, but hey, Bremen still went on to finish second. In terms of goals, Mario Goetze enjoyed his best season in black and yellow in the 2012-13 season. Nice. Oh, very nice indeed. Is it going to be three? Yes, it is. Cool, calm, collected, and on the score sheet. That was one of ten goals Goetze scored in the campaign, where after back-to-back -back titles previously, Dortmund finished second to Bayern. 2013-14 was the season of Roberto Firmino. The Brazilian showed why he was attracting the attention of his national team with goals like this in the game between Hoffenheim and Mainz. With 16 goals, Firmino was Hoffenheim's top scorer that season and fourth overall in the Bundesliga. Frankfurt's Mexican magician Marco Fabian is in our top three. It's now Fabian, it's Marco Fabian! And it is absolutely sensational! What a way to equalise, at Dortmund no less. Come full-time, he and Frankfurt came away empty-handed, but at least they all had a goal to remember. The 1996-97 campaign was a historic one for Schalke. As they lifted the UEFA Cup, Olaf Ton was a member of that legendary Eurofighter team. He only scored two league goals that season, but one of them was really quite something. Two minutes into their derby against Bochum, a blockbuster from Ton. Arrowing into our number one spot is Raphael. During the 2011-12 season, he was at Hertha, dazzling his opponents with some untouchable technique. It's that long ball over the top of McKenna once more, and it's three! And Raphael's nailed it in the back of the net! 
Vlax. Vlax was one of the best goals of the weekend, and that will be a contender for goal of the month. I have absolutely no doubt. Contender for goal of the month? It's number one in our top ten. Which goal was your favourite? Let us know in the comments. Hi guys, did you like that? Subscribe here. <laughs> Don't miss any of the Bundesliga action. Subscribe now.